Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? I am here to work on my December daily. So I thought I'd share what I was doing today on day number seven and show you what I did uh, to the previous days, uh, little updates and things that I thought of. So as we open, uh, right here is day number one. Uh, what did I do to day number one? Uh, nothing to day number one. Day number two was on this page right here. And I added only one thing to it. I'm trying to think. I thought I added more than one thing. Let's see. Let me grab something here because I did want to add something else to it. And I don't know where it is. When I find it, I'll, I'll come back. But uh, this is day number two. I ended up putting day number two on this journaling card that I made from Maria's uh, envelope that she sent that I had made put card uh, index card on the back and wrote on it and it was day two I put day two and the date right there wrote on the back and then I decided to add I decided to try to add numbers kind of not you know sometimes inconspicuous sometimes conspicuous to each day so um, and I wanted to point out that you don't have to have a whole page for each day. If you just want to write on a journaling card for one of the days, you know, that's fine. That's what I did here. So, and then I wanted to put a two on here. So I got a little, one of my, this, I have a pack of these Christmas playing cards from Dollar Tree. And I got the number two out and put it right there. So it's kind of inconspicuous, but that's what it's all about. Day number two on this one. Okay. And then I remembered something else that happened on day number two. Yeah, that's what the date I have on here. So I got one of my little gingerbread tags out. This is the, the little tags from Dollar General. They're gift tags, the two from. And I pretty much wrote over the two from so you can't see it anymore. But I added a little eyelet here and a piece of red ribbon at the top to make it into like a tag. And then I wrote on it what happened, uh, something that I forgot that happened on day number two. So I wrote about that and added these little stickers down here. And I stuck it right in this pocket. So this is all day number one, number two here. Day number three, I added this right here. Yeah, this right here. I had this page done. This is from... Let me take it out so you, so it doesn't get mixed up with day number that day. So day number three, um, it was like this, and I just added this right here. This is the little piece from the Graphic 45, uh, you know, Christmas paper pack that I'm using in here. And I realized yesterday, <laughs> December 6th, that this pack has numbers on it. Like I was thinking of putting numbers on each page, and I was like, well, isn't that cool? You know, I was watching other videos. People are putting these really cute Christmas numbers on there. And I was like, oh, maybe I should look on Pinterest. And then I realized my own paper pack has numbers on it, okay? <laughs> my own Graphic 45 Christmas paper pack that I'm using in here has numbers in it. Okay, here's a number two. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to cut this out and put it on day number two. So here's number two right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. This is kind of a big one. I don't, here's day number one. This is the one I really wanted, yeah. Day number two, I put that little, pl that playing card. So I might not worry about day two unless I decide to go back and attach a two to that. But I'd have to think about that. Let's see, how do I want to cut this? I can cut it like that. But I cut the red off of this side. Let's go ahead and cut the red off. That way it'll be smaller too. So I'm going to put this on day number one. So I'll, so I'll have a number on each page. And the numbers on here are, I guess, you know, in case someone wanted to, you know, do an advent type of, you know, uh, project. I think that's what it's geared toward, but, you know, it's perfect for a December daily. It's day number 1 through 24. So 25 through 31, I'll be on my own. But it's, until then, I have a day. I have a number for each day. So here it is. Isn't it cute? So adorable, okay? So I'm gonna glue this down on day number one. Let me get this out of the way. So I showed you the new things, uh, day number one through three, and then I'll show you the rest, and then we'll get started on day number seven. 
So, some art glitter glue. This is cardstock, so, I mean, probably any type of glue would be good, but uh, I noticed, you know, if you're gluing over a lumpy, bumpy surface, like, I don't know where I'm going to put this right now. <laughs> I should be uh, figuring that out before I put glue on, right? But, uh, yeah, I'm putting it here somewhere, and uh, let's see, I could, it's too big for there. I could put it right down here, right here, or see, up here is going to be covering up stuff. So I think right here might be the perfect spot. Yeah, right here is pretty much the only spot I can put it in. So it is going to go right there, day number one. And it's, day number one now has a number. Day number two has the playing card number. Extra blue there. Okay, so day number one has a number. Day number two has a number. And day number three has a number. Day number four does not have his number yet. Day number five, I put a number. Uh, I was working on this yesterday, and I showed you, um, I think I showed you, or whenever it was, uh, I was working on it either yesterday or the day before, and I pretty much showed you this part, and that was it. And then I decided to, well, I put the date up here, I wrote it in glitter glue, glitter pen, green. I put day number five, I mean, number five right here from the Graphic 45 paper pack. And then I did this little uh, number here, which is just, if this is really easy to do. I wanted to try this with a Rolodex card because just an idea I had and I thought, wouldn't it be neat to make a little, some kind of a flip with a Rolodex card? So I took the Rolodex card and I took a piece of the other scrapbook paper that I've been using in my Etsy journals and cut a strip off enough to be able to fold it in half. So I, and then I glued, just glued the glued the Rolodex card to it. You can see I made it, I made a hinge basically. So I to the top part here I glued the Rolodex card and then it flips down and I glued the back part of the of the strip of um, scrapbook paper. It's actually cardstock uh, to the page and I I um, it matches this paper really well because this is burgundy and this has burgundy in it. So uh, it matched really well and uh, wrote about, uh, I said I was going to write here about things that got me into the Christmas spirit this year and that's what I did. So I wrote on the front and the back and then I can still write something here or do something here if I want. I'm going to leave it blank for right now because I haven't been inspired of what to put there yet. So I'm just leaving it blank for now and then when something hits me I'll come back and maybe do something right there. Uh, decorate or write. So that was Thursday. So yesterday uh, you saw me do kind of trying to figure out what I was going to do and so I finished. I think I left you with I had put the trees on right here and I said I was going to put this here and uh, I had put the candy canes here but I didn't glue anything down. I just left it here yesterday morning when I went to work to see if I liked it when I got home, and I did. But then I realized about the numbers, so then I went ahead, before I glued these on, I wanted to get this, make sure I got this number on here, so. Day number six right there, it says six. I did go ahead and glue the, cut out some more candy canes, and I glued those all down to this fold out. And then I just, um, you can see, when you see this page, uh, this goes under here a little bit. So when you unfold this, you know, you can see the whole thing. Also with this part here, I cut out these circles from my scrapbook paper. And so when you unfold this, you can see the whole thing. And I just did have a little fun. I wrote TG, yesterday was Friday. I wrote TGIF Friday. Some smiley faces in day six right there in, um, in glitter, a uh, green glitter pen. So... Just, you know, nothing Christmassy happened yesterday uh, that I can think of. Uh, oh, you know what happened on Thursday? Let's see, was that Thursday? We put up our Christmas tree at work. I can write that down real quick before I forget, right? Um, and, and it was weird because I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Me and my uh, co-worker, we uh, put up the Christmas tree and 
we decorate it. It's in the corner, like when you walk into in our office. It's in a corner, like you walk in the door and you look. See, so you walk in the door and you look to the left, and it's right there in a corner, right? And it's a six foot, six foot Christmas tree. You really can't miss it. <laughs> but my boss later that day, around three thirty or four o'clock, he says, "Hey, where where did that come from? Uh, they must have put up the Christmas tree." <laughs> so he had walked in the door that morning. He had walked out in and out of the door a couple times, and just then at 3.30 or 4 o'clock, he noticed that we put up the Christmas tree. We thought that was pretty funny. So, yeah, we put up the Christmas tree at work. So exciting. <laughs> the Christmas tree. This is just short, so that's why I'm not, I don't want to make you watch me write. But uh, I figured this was short. Okay. All right, so I wrote something there. Day number five, day number six, pretty much done. Day number seven, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm gonna show you what I have in mind for day number seven today. Uh, what did I do today? I just did my regular stuff so far. I went grocery shopping. <laughs> I did stop by a thrift store, but that's not, this is not Thrifty Tuesday. I'll be showing you those on Thrifty Tuesday. What I got. So today I'm very anxious and I want to use in my December daily some of my own little Christmas postcards that I have that I have discovered in my box of postcards that I bought. So I copied some of them and uh, I'll show you the originals. Let's see. I already did some. I already did some uh, copies, but these are the originals. I thought there was four. Wait a minute. There's four. Where's the, where is, the, here it is. Four originals. So yeah, there's, these three are the oldest right here. Uh, this one on top right here is from 1916. They are so pretty. And I found them in my box of postcards. And I'm still going through that box. So I don't know if I have any more, but I did find these four. This one is really, I think this might be the oldest one. It has this little kind of, I think these are kind of basically broken off there, you know, kind of cracked. And this one was 1906. And I find it very interesting because uh, the address is, uh, this one's pretty light, but if you can see that address, maybe if I can hold it close enough here, there's hardly anything there. So I don't know how it got to where it was going, but that is the address on there. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny because there's not a street address. This one from 1916 has a street address. And then here's another one, kind of similar to that one, but different. This one's uh, 1907. And this one, let me see if it's the same address. Same person. No, no, it has different, uh, different address. It looks like the same country or state, but different. Oh, this does say, it says Bruce Street, but no, no number. And a name. This one has a name, and then it says, it looks like it says Galt. And then I can't read, oh, Ontario, I think that says. So this one's Ontario. Oh, this one's Ontario too, Galt. But this one has Bruce Street. This one doesn't have a street. Maybe it was the only house on the street. I don't know. But <laughs> those two, 1906 and 1907. And this one doesn't have a year, but it's really pretty. And you know it's vintage. I mean, look at the browning, and just you can tell it's vintage. I could probably look up when they had 25 cent stamps and figure that out. But this one is U.S., you know, went to Illinois. So, I, so uh, yeah. Anyway, so I copied those. And I copied the front and the back on, this is on bond paper. This one's on, I accidentally covered, well, this is bond. This is the backs. And this is the front, some of the fronts um, on paper, which I accidentally copied on paper, regular copy paper. And then, like, the other fronts that I copied on bond paper, I already back, cut out and backed on file folder. And uh, this one, let's see, I wanted to show you the difference between uh, distressing and non-distressing now. They have their natural distressing on these original cards, which came out in the copies. Like, look at the brown, if you can see it around this one. 
Let me see if there's one that it's also pretty apparent. This probably has the most brown on it. This has a little brown on it too. And it is interesting to look at natural distressing because you know how we distress and we go all the way around. <laughs> this has uh, really the apparent brown is this right up here. Just a little bit right there. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any more really. I mean, there might be a tiny bit right here, but this is the real postcard. So uh, on the back, a little bit of apparent browning right there. But maybe that's something to think about when we're distressing, you know. I mean, I know it does look good all the way around, but maybe sometimes we don't want it. We want it to look real, and we don't want it to distress all the way around. This one doesn't really have any browning all the way around. And this is a real one, a real original. And this one doesn't either. So anyway, um, this one, it was a copy, and I did distress this one all the way around. Basically because uh, if you look at this one, the the, the uh, I cut it as close as I could, but I didn't want to cut off the natural browning, uh, any natural browning that came out in the copy of the postcard. I didn't want to cut that out, so I cut as close as I could to the postcard, but there's a little bit of file folder, like barely any, but there is some. So that's why I went ahead and browned all the way around on this one. I think it looks really good. And I even cut out that little piece that was broken off from that original postcard. So it looks like the original. Let me show you the original. And here's the, here's the original right here. See, and here's the copy. I think that's a pretty good copy. And I think that's actually a really awesome copy. <laughs> so it looks like a real vintage postcard. And then you can write on the back. So, I mean, I thought about putting the copy of the back on the back. But then I was like, well, I really want it to be able to be a journaling card. So, so I left it with the blank. So this one is the other one I already have done. And I thought I would show you the difference once you, you know, before and after. So like if you look at closely, it's like as close as I can get it to the camera, uh, how it looks now. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of file folder. I got glue on me. I was gluing, uh, I was gluing those numbers in. Yeah, you just saw me glue a number in. Okay, so, um, so when you go around now, you have that little tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of file folder. But, you know, I didn't want to cut any closer, so I'm just going to use some of my vintage photo on here. I usually just use this foam brush for putting on my my distress ink. Distress ink. This is, you know, the uh, oxide, distress oxide that everyone uses pretty much. <laughs> if they do this dressing, it's like the basic one everyone has. And so there you go. Now you can see Sometimes you have to do this a little bit when you first glue on a paper to a cardstock. You know, make sure you get it straight. It wants to curl up a little bit. But then also I'm doing the back so that when you turn it over, like when it's in a journal and you take it out and look at it, you see that distressing on the front, but then you turn it over and it also looks pretty on the back. So there you go. That's the new one. And here is the original on that one. I think they're really pretty. Whoops, upside down. <laughs> really neat, right? Actually, the that's the original. See? And here's the copy. It almost looks better. The copy almost looks better than the original. I don't know why. I guess because of the distressing all the way around, it really does look better with the distressing all the way around that's why we do it right that's actually why we do it <laughs> so so um i want to try the one on paper here and use it for my december daily i've got two i'm just going to cut out one for today i think i'll cut out this uh older one and put it on some cardstock but i want to i might have to cut the edges off because this is going to actually be too big and i should have i should have shrunk this but I didn't really think about it, so now I can't. 
I can't get a shrunken a shrunken postcard until Monday when I go back to the copier uh, at work. So, uh, yeah. I'm even going to cut out this little piece that broke off here in the original. And keep my distressing again. But actually, I'm going to probably have to cut some of that off. We'll see how much I have to cut off. But I've got, see, these are glued on too. But this is, um, I'm not using this because this is a uh, bond. So these are going to be for my Etsy journals. I'm just using this paper one because I didn't mean to copy it on paper. And, and I did, so I'm going to use it for my own December daily. I've got some cardstock here to glue it on, and I'm using, I'm using the, uh, let's see, what was I using? I was using some glue stick, which I think this one's almost gone, so let me grab another one, a new one. Yeah, that, that one I was using to do the other postcards, and I noticed this morning it was pretty much empty. Should have thrown it out, but I thought there might be a little dab left in there. But right now I want enough to cover this whole thing. So I, I'm just using my glue, this uh, glue stick because I don't, I think it's basically can be glued down with glue stick. And then if I need it around the edges, I'll use my art glitter glue. I just would rather, if it can be glued down with glue stick, I'd rather glue use that because, you know, it is cheaper <laughs> than art glitter glue. So, you know, we use so much glue in this type of paper crafting and, you know, what we do. So, it is a, you know, sometimes we want to conserve our glue. Okay, let me see if I can get it right to the edge here and I don't have to cut over here except I except to make it a little smaller to fit on my page. Okay. So, yeah, this is how I, you know, not a big deal. I just think it was so much fun to find find that I had some, uh, don't need that. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was so much fun to find those postcards in my postcard box. And so let me cut around. Let me cut around and then I'll measure to see what we have to cut off make it fit on the page. I really wish I would have shrunk these, but I don't want to waste waste it, so I figure I'll just cut it off and save it from the trash or whatever. I mean, I could use it in another journal, of course, that would, it would fit in better, but I don't want to do that. I want to use it today. Okay. Now, let me get, let me just bring the page over here. That it's going on. Oh, uh, I did have another thought too, another little idea. Put my lids on my glue so we don't dry out. This glitter glue really does dry out. Not dry out, but this, if you don't put your pin back in here right away, it gets hard right there at the tip and then you can't get your pin in. Yeah, the hole's so small. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, I was thinking it might be fun. I'm going to have to cut a little bit of this off. Just a little sliver on either side, really. Not too much. So let me just go ahead and do that. I might round the corners if I can find my corner rounder. I wonder where it is. <laughs> I don't think I put it away. It's probably buried somewhere. Okay, so let me just cut this off and see what it looks like. I have an idea. I get to keep part of this postmark here. So that'll be cool. Now it'll fit. See? I had an idea of not gluing it down though. I could um, just to do something a little different. Let me see if my corner's coming up there. It is. So let me get grab my glitter. Glitter glue to the rescue. See, now I only use a little bit of glitter glue under there. And I don't have to. And most of it was held down with the glue stick. 
a little bit right there, just a tiny, tiny bit. Just the corners, just the corners. And I did cut this, I did cut this, so that might, might have not happened if I didn't cut it, because I, I uh, glued, I put more glue on the edges, and then I cut them off, so. <laughs> Uh, this, one, this is not straight. Okay. Okay, so what I was wondering, it looks good. What I was wondering, let me cut this right here. There's some paper up over the top of the cardstock or the file folder. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What I thought I would do. This is what I was thinking. I thought I might. It might be cool. I've never done this before. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of a little bit hesitating. And uh, now, what do I do with my pin? I'll find it in a second. I have two sitting here, just for that reason. Oh, here's the other one. Yeah, I have two pins sitting here for my glitter glue, just in case I can't find one. Okay. So what I thought I would do. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and try it because I. I want to use this my day, December daily as a experimental type thing too. If I have an idea and I want to try it somewhere before I try it in my Etsy journals, why not try it in my December daily, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab. I am going to grab my. Actually, I'm going to grab my carpadial. And these are one of the uh, these are the eyelets I got at. They were in that sewing bag of goodies and my last, last thrifted treasures. And so let's try one of these and see if they work. I mean, I'm sure they do, but let's try it. So I got my crop of I'm going to use the big hole here. And I'm going to actually, see, I want to see if I can put an eyelet right here and then have this so I can go boop. <laughs> that would be fun, right? So let's... Go ahead and punch the hole. Get it where we want it. Punch the hole with the big, the big hole punch on your crocodile if you have one. I just got mine about what two weeks ago, and I love it. Highly recommended. I think I have it linked below my videos. Okay, get that little paper out of there, and I'll go ahead and stick the little eyelid in here. Cute right cute <laughs> I love it okay now we're gonna mash it down let's see I've been for a bigger hole like that I've been using the other side of this the bigger little prongy thing and uh, bigger little smushy part I don't know what this is actually called <laughs> the bigger smushy part uh, let's see which smushy part do I want to use Let's use this one maybe. Well, I'm trying to think of what the one I used before. It was opposite of Wow, where'd it go? Okay, I think it was let's try this one. I don't know if I've used this one. I may or may not have. Okay. Get it back in the hole. And go ahead and smash it down. I put the little prongy thing in the top. Or the front of the eyelet and the other smushy down part in the back of it. Okay, now we're going to smash it down. Now these are those old eyelets. Watch them be like super strong or something. Uh, oh, no, I think I feel it smashing. Okay. So, there we go. Yeah, it looks good. It smashed just fine. There you go. Can you see that? Okay, so... This was the idea that it would go like this, okay? <laughs> How that will work for writing, uh, we're going to find out. Uh, the idea was I can write under it and I can write on back of it, but I'm going to have to, let's see, I'll have to go like this, Boop. open a page and write right here. Like right here, so it'd be like almost like a secret journaling spot because you kind of have to work for it. <laughs> like, oh, do you want to read this? Well, go like this and like this, and then you can read it or write on it. Okay, so it worked. It worked. My idea worked. It's not a flippy thing. I didn't. I knew it wouldn't be. 
I just want to see how it would look, you know, for this postcard to be like that. So I think that's neat, something different. And it's my journal. I can do whatever I want. So, and that's something that you can put in after a journal is sewn in. It doesn't have to be done, you know, while the pages are loose. I just haven't sewn in my pages. And I'm not going to sew in my pages until the end of December or January 1st or whatever, whenever I'm done. So, uh, yeah, so that's going back in my journal. And it's going to be this page right here, day number seven. So let's... Now I'm doing my writing off camera usually, so like I'll put do put this in here and then like say, you know, tomorrow or if something happens today, I could go right ahead and write it down. Or if something, um, if I don't want to write today until tomorrow, like, you know, if I want to think about it or like I did on that other one, uh, December 3rd, I actually wrote something today right here. I wrote this little bit right here because it was my mom's birthday. So I wrote about my mom's birthday right here along the edge, and it's actually like looks almost look like looks like a pretty trim right there. Uh, so that's I did that today, and I wrote the, did this little tag for December second today. I wrote that today. So just because you're past today doesn't mean you can't go back and write on it. There's no rules here. You can do whatever you want. So uh, back to day number seven. Now let's look for our number seven. That's another thing I know I want in on here. So where is the number seven? Here it is right here. I want to cut the whole thing out with the color around it. Like I cut the red off of this one, so I had to cut in. So this one I want to cut the green. Get the green part with it too. The green like frame. Well, let's cut this out. Get our little seven on there. We know we want that. Kind of hard to cut out here. Plus, I'm anxious to do it, right? I want to do it. I want to do it nice. Okay. It says good cheer. So that's day number seven. We've got our postcard, and when I find my corner rounder, I know it's here somewhere. I might go back and round these corners. We'll see. It looks good just like that, though. I might not. Okay, and this matches. Look at that. It actually matches the postcard. Okay, so I don't know where I want it. Let's just put it let's put it right here for right now and see what else I might want on here. Now, I've been trying to I've been trying to put some of my things that I'm using in my journals that I've made this year for my Etsy. I've been trying to put some of those in here so that I have a sampling of the papers and things that I use like when I use them up I can look back and say oh yeah in 2019 I used this paper pack I remember that you know or you know what else I used the, these gingerbread foam gingerbread man stickers and these stickers and these you know nutcracker clothes pins and things like that so you know this these I use these tags so that's another reason I'm kind of just picking from what I have been using I want to remember, you know, what did I use this year? Oh, I used this fabric. The fabric I have here on the spine, I was using that in 2019. Isn't that cool? You know, when I look back at it in 2022 and be like, oh, yeah, I remember that from 2019. That was pretty. I wish I had more of that. <laughs> so, uh, that, okay. So, what do I have sitting here that I wanted to use? Well, I wanted to show you one thing. I have Christmas cards that I'm recycling this was from a Christmas card, and I was like, they had these Canadian geese on here. They look like Canadian geese to me. And I was like, Canadian geese. And this is the color of the whole postcard, black and this kind of beige color. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is not very Christmassy, but it was a Christmas card. So uh, I was like determined to uh, do something with it. I did not back these. These are, you know, it was a card, so these are cardstock. But I was determined not to throw this in the trash, even though it was a weird Christmas card. And so I ended up cutting out these geese, and I said, I'm going to save these for a nature journal. I mean, they're adorable. Aren't they adorable? So I'm going to save this for a nature journal. And then for, from the rest of the card, I made these little adorable um, tags. Just cut out little pieces. You can make tags any shape you want, any size you want. And I used my crocodile to make that cute little adorable hole there. 
So, and my little, uh, my little tiniest eyelets fit in those so I can put eyelets and strings or ribbons or whatever I want in there and make these into something cute. I can distress around the outside and I just cut those with scissors. No big deal, right? Uh, very easy. So let me uh, grab, do I have uh, anything as far as a Christmas card? Or I have these pages from a, a book that I'm trying to maybe incorporate into my journals and into this journal. I have, uh, where's my Christmas cards? Uh, let me grab my Christmas cards. They are here. I know I organized myself before I came and turned the camera on, so they are here somewhere. I just got my postcards on top. And then uh, I have my card stock, and then I have my Christmas cards <laughs> right here. Let me grab them. Sorry about my arms all across here. Yeah, these are, I think these are the Christmas, this, in this pile is the Christmas cards I wanted to use. I have bits and pieces I'm putting over here. Uh, let's see, this is, this is a Christmas card. This is a piece from a Christmas card. I think that's, is that it? This is a, I already cut off the back of this Christmas card, Christmas card, but here's the front. So yeah, all these Christmas cards I want to do something with. So let's see, we're on day number seven. Let's see if we have one that kind of, or something that goes with these colors here. So let's just put the pile right here. Like I have these bits and pieces. I have this, this is really cute. I cut this out from a magazine. It says Christmas dinner on it. I just thought that was adorable. Like I could just to decorate, just to decorate this page, like, cause nothing exciting has happened so far today. Well, it's only halfway through the day, but when I'm doing this video, but, um, I have a little piece from a card here that says Season's Greetings. I have even this little strip from something. <laughs> oh, this is, must be from the uh, Graphic 45 little strip I saved. I could put that on here somewhere. Wouldn't that be cute right there? On that Season's Greetings piece. I have these little pieces I cut from an advertisement that came with my Better Homes and Gardens magazine. I have little two pieces of fabric here that I could do something with. So, um, I kind of be, before I decide, I kind of like that even right there. But before I decide, let's look up through our cards for a minute to see what we have. I have this warmest greetings of the season and a wish for a happy new year. That might be a good thing to put on toward the end, you know, when you're talking about the new year toward the end of December. So, here's another like. Like the duck one, the geese one. Here's another one. It has, this is a Christmas card, but it has, you know, the snowy forest here with the turkeys. <laughs> and it is a Christmas card, right? Let me see. May peace and happiness surround you like the beauty of nature. I mean, I think it was a Christmas card. So here's another weird Christmas card. It's a nest in a tree uh, with no leaves. So it's a winter Christmas, winter tree. Season's greetings. And this is imprinted with somebody's name. Like, this was a card these people picked out to have imprinted. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just, if I was going to put, have a card imprinted with my name, I think I would not pick out this card. I'm sorry, but I don't mean to make fun of it, but it is kind of funny, don't you think? <laughs> okay, so this one has a lot of bright red in it, so I don't think that was going to go. Here's another inside piece. Here's to a sugar-coated holiday sprinkled with laughter and love. And if I was going to use this, I would probably just cut that off right there and cut that off and use the words on a page. But I know it is burgundy. It is burgundy if I wanted to use this. It kind of, well, this is red here in the berries, but um, I have a lot of burgundy in this book from that scrapbook paper. That other scrapbook paper. So say if I wanted to use this here, I want to keep that with this, this little strip that looks really good on there. I don't want to lose that. Okay, so if I could find my corner rounder, where did I do with that? I wonder if it's in the other room. It actually might be in the other room, so I won't glue anything down right now in case I want to go and round the corners before I glue things down here. 
Just taking a peek over at my desk, see if my counter rounder's over here. Oh, it is over here. I was looking over here at my desk and it was hiding behind a little box I have over there that I need to deal with. Okay, I just wanna see, I love it when the corners are rounded in. It just makes a big difference in the way things look, I think. And then on that, we could uh, distress a little. I think that would tone down some of the newness look of this little piece here. There we go. That looks pretty. And then this is just magazine page. This, uh, I could round the corners on this one too. Let's see what that looks like. Sometimes you just have to go for it, right? I, I like that too. And then we have our, should I round the corners on this? I think I'm gonna leave this alone since I can't round this corner now since I've already smooshed it down. And I let it I let it in. I'm gonna leave that like that. So do I want this? I think it needs something. So let's look at just look at the cards another minute and see if we see anything else that jumps out at us. Like I saved these from something to use maybe as a border somewhere. Holly leaves. Holly leaves, and I think I have two of them actually. I could put another one up here. Just using up my scraps. Christmas dinner. <laughs> What's the menu? Peppercorn beef tenderloin with horseradish cream sauce. That's not what I'm making for dinner, <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> peppercorn beef, no. <laughs> Thank you. Not that it won't not good, but I, I don't make peppercorn beef. <laughs> I don't. I don't make that dish. I like to cook. Uh, I like to cook. I like to cook kind of a simple. Well, it's not simple, but we. Uh, you know, it's it's easy if you know how to cook lasagna. Last year, for the first year, we cooked lasagna for th for uh, Christmas. And I really liked it because it's pretty, and it's actually a pretty easy dish, you know, to make. And you can get it ready the night before if you want, and then be ready on Christmas Day to stick it in the oven. There you go. You have your Christmas dinner cooking with some garlic bread and salad, and you're good to go, right? And then you can have more fun with your family instead of spending all your time cooking and cleaning up after cooking and eating. So... You know, depending on how much family or people you have over, one or two pans of lasagna, garlic bread and a salad, there you go. And I actually, for Thanksgiving, I'm just placing this here. Uh, for Thanksgiving, I got uh, all, I got one pie. I've all, we've always had like pies. It's pie time, right? <laughs> After Thanksgiving dinner, it's pie time. But uh, this year I got all munchy, and I didn't make them. I just bought all munchy type dessert snacky things because we like to play games after Thanksgiving dinner. And, you know, I didn't want to have to get up and play a game like, oh, let's go get our pie, you know. <laughs> Not that you can't eat pie while you're, while you're playing a game. It's just easier to eat munchy things. And I know my kids love cookies, so, yeah, cookies can be just as good as pie. <laughs> Depending, depending on your family or your friends. Okay, so that looks interesting, <laughs> right? Interesting. I mean, I like it. I could do that. I could, I could live with that. I just want to see if there's anything else I want to do. I'm saving this for a journal. So that's my last piece of that fabric. Uh, all of these pieces. I kind of just want to see if I. Like, this is kind of a card, so do I want another card, or do I want to leave it like that? I uh, just want to make sure. Background, I have other backgrounds, like I could do a blue. I could do this blue background. That would be pretty. Just have to try different things and see what you like. This is a strip from a 
cut off from a ideals magazine page and this would look actually I might distress a little bit right there is a little bit of a white edge but this has a blue in it so that would be pretty on there this would be pretty with some blue behind it I can still put this uh, down here the holly leaf down here okay so I like that let's see what else so like I think it's kind of neat because we've got this card look down here with a pretty holly and everything We've got words here and then a number, which we have to have here. This is absolutely going here. Uh, we have other pieces. These uh, these two don't go with this uh, look. These two, this could go. This could go here. But look, it kind of doesn't go with the card. So this still looks good here with the words. Okay, anything else? This is too big. This is a whole card. This is from, I'm trying to see what year this is from. <laughs> 05, 2005, okay. Here's some just other, a scrap of paper. This is just a piece I cut out from a magazine. This is Santa Claus House. I thought that was cool. So I'm going to put that over here with my bits and pieces. That goes with my cards, which I'm putting over there. Recipe cards. Another little border I could use somewhere. I just wonder if this would look better there than the, the holly leaf. Let me cut this smaller. I need to check the time here. We're at 47, so I need to finish this up in about 10 minutes. So, like what I did yesterday was just leave. I did what I did on video and then left it unglued so that I could make sure that's what I wanted. You know what I mean? And I actually didn't glue it down until most of it. I did glue the Rolodex card down yesterday morning before I went to work because I wanted to try that because I wanted to make some more. I did craft during my lunchtime yesterday. And... So I wanted to try it, and I and so I glued that down. But everything else, I glued down the candy canes and the other circle piece. I glued that down uh, this morning. Yeah, just now before this video. <laughs> so okay, that now we can spend a few minutes uh, just making sure anything else is our scraps. And these are all these are notepads and envelopes scrapped from the book, you know, Ma Ideals magazine. These are uh, pieces I cut out from magazines, other magazines. Notepad, notepad. Yeah, these are all notepads right here. So that's it. We looked through everything that I had, kind of just waiting. Okay, so. I think that I like the blue. I need to go ahead and cut cut it off so I can see what it really looks like without this extra piece. And I don't want that. I could almost use that for a fold over, but I don't want to because it's it would be in the way. So I'm going to try just ripping this off instead of cutting it. That sharp edge sometimes is a little you know, kind of like too too sharp. Like, see that looks prettier, torn like that. Actually, this side is already a little rough from being maybe taken out of the book magazine. I'm not sure. And that this is rough up here. So since it is rough, I'm going to go ahead and distress that rough edge, or actually all the edges. Okay, so um, while I'm doing this, there's something I wanted to mention that I've been thinking that 
I counted my pages and I have enough actual pages if I want to dedicate a whole page to each day in December. Uh, I have enough pages in this one signature and I already planned on having two signatures in this December daily journal. So I thought the best thing I could do or I think that what I want to do is I can go ahead and make my second signature in the pages and not sew them in and leave them for next year for 2020, 2020. And so I'll have my pages ready for next year, ready to go. I have my journal ready to go. And, uh, you know, I think that would be cool to be ready to go like that. I really do like that blue there and especially behind this. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Do I have any time left? I have a few minutes, so let's go ahead and I think I want to use, let me put my book out of the way for a second and get uh, the glue and try to see if I have anything to glue on here besides my, I mean this is to protect my table, but I kind of protect this too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little crazy. Okay, let's glue the right side. Don't put glue on the wrong side. I almost put it on the blue side. That's the side I want to see, not glue. So today, I'm doing my regular thing this weekend. You know, nothing special happening this weekend. So, doing this little bit of craft time now, and then going to go do my housework. And then hopefully I'll have some craft time tomorrow. I mean, I should have a lot of craft time tomorrow, because I already went grocery shopping. And if I get my housework done today, then I will have all day tomorrow to do whatever I want. Unless I don't get my housework done today, and then <laughs> I'll have to do some of it tomorrow, which happens a lot. Because I might have to come in here and do some more crafting today. <laughs> yes, I'm sure I will. I mean, this afternoon, that's this afternoon, then I have TV time, and then, uh, then more crafting time after TV time, usually if I'm not falling asleep by then. Okay, so I know I want this here, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I just want to make sure this cardstock gets stuck down good, so I'm using my art glitter glue on that, but I'm using it sparingly. Okay. that just like that on the blue I just like that on the blue okay now the rest of it I'm not sure about so I'm gonna leave it and come back and see it later after I do some house cleaning uh, I know I am gonna have to cut this off though if I use it it's got a leaf on either end that's pretty, but the, let's see, I want the leaf up or down. I think I want the leaf up, so I'd cut off this right here in between these two little scrolly things. So that will be there, and I'm going to go leave this sit and let it gel and see if that's how I want it. I just cut out these pieces. It's kind of like... Uh, my December daily is a journal, a glue book, scrapbook, <laughs> all of the above. So that's what, what how I'm treating it. So this page is pretty much a glue book, right? We're gluing down this one. I, this one was two. This one was two. But and I didn't have anything to write about yesterday except for it was Friday, so I wrote that. And now today, I uh, don't know if anything, we'll see what comes in the mail. Maybe something, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Maybe something exciting will come in the mail and I'll be able to, you know, do something here. Uh, change this whole thing, right? <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going to let you go. Happy Saturday and uh, happy crafting. I'll see you later.